Hey, welcome back to Spirit Music Meetups. Mike Burris here. Anointed spontaneous prophetic music. Hey, uh, we're going through this really great book by Jeff Moore called Drumstick Control, and it looks like this. And it's a series of videos because we can glean from a lot of books, and I have like 200 of them, and I decided I was going to spend some time outdoors for a while here and there, and I'm over at pretty much an abandoned, there's a loud sound in the background, it's a truck just running his engine, he's probably taking a nap in the air conditioning, there's how our trucking expenses have gone up, but no, they used to always do that, we're on page 20, and before, on the previous videos, we saw what was called forward shifting, Moving the accent forward progressively, one after another, one to one E to one E uh in triplets and one E and a one E and a one E and a one E and a one E and a. So we just keep moving forward. That's a great way to do it. But you know, you know, working backwards is harder because you have to think, you know, ahead of time what to do instead of afterwards. And, and so he goes into that. I, uh, I, don't, I don't really know. I mean, it, tomato, tomato. I think going forward's a lot easier. But let's go through it and see if we can glean. That means take the good stuff, leave the chaff for the hay for the cows. <laughs> Let the cows eat the chaff. But he, got, he has one E, uh, so he's starting at the end of the eighth note triplet. One E, uh. So now why, this, this building, the, all these offices are all abandoned now. Our economy is completely dissolving. All this was being rented out, was working. Now it's, it's almost all gone. There's one business left in this entire complex. It's the Baggins Gourmet, and they're struggling too. So, you know, all in a year and a half. None before. Everybody was gangbusters, making money hand over fist. Everybody was happy. And uh, the customers were happy. And all since January 21, 2021. Now what happened January 20th? Just go back and look at history. Learn from history or you will be bound to repeat it. Here we go. One E, uh, two E, uh, three E, uh, four E. So that's, that's the laze is blues-a. one e a t e a t e a t e a Now, you all know how delayed that is, how late, late for an important date, how lazy that is. Laze is blues-a. Unless you walk on the number. one e a t e a one e a t e a t e a t e hard for people to play soft, right, because they're so connected, breaking those rubber bands inside of you. So point when you step, one E, a uh, point, two E, a uh, point, 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 all right, so what's happening is one, a, uh, two, a, uh, three, that's the shuffle. That's what each hand is doing, and you're filling in around. You're filling in with the opposite hand, and then filling in with the opposite hand. And that is great for syncopation. It's playing, emphasizing the offbeats. That's one way of doing syncopation. Now, we're going to do the middle of the triplet. So now we're shifting backwards, aren't we? One E, uh. Now we're going to go one E, uh, two E, uh, one E. See, I, that's, that's what I call, I say one D, da, because it's not exactly E, uh, of one E, and. It's right? It's not actually one E, and. It's not one E, uh. But you could say that if you, if you want to. Just know it's not exactly .25 of a 16th note. It's not 0.75 of a 16th note, uh. 
So you can say D or da. So one D. Now that's still jerky, it's funky. Jerky is funky. It's very nervous sounding. It jumps right at you. One D up to D up one. It's right after the beat. One D e up to D e up. Uh, to E up one. So you still point one E up uh, to E up one E up to E up one. Now that's accenting the fill in, right? The fill in of the shuffle. That's the fill in. And that creates a real nervous feeling. But it's syncopation too. Now we're finally shifting back further. One E uh, two E uh, three, four E uh. So all three of them, it's one E da uh, two E da uh, three E da uh, four E da uh, one E da uh, two E da uh, three E da uh, four E da uh, one E da uh, two E da uh, four E da uh, one E da. Uh, uh, okay, so that's a great exercise of working backwards. Now, he was doing four of each of those, but you could do, make that switch, that transition faster. You could do every two. One D da, two D da, thinking like two four time, march time, one D da, two D da, one, and that's, and then go the E. One D da, two D da, one D da, two D da, one D da. So let's do it again. One D da, two D da, one D da, two D da, one D da, two D da. See how that works? Now you could do switching every single count. So going from the A, uh, working to the E, back to the number. A, uh, E, back to the number. So you could add three of them, so do that three, four times. So that's what he's doing. So he's going one D da two one D da two D da three D da. So it turns like turns out, is that right? One D da two D da three D da. So it turns out all the accents are on one side. One D da two D da three D da one D da two D da. Is that right? One D da two D da three. 3D da, 3D three, three da, and now you're on the left side. 1D da, 2D da, 3D. Get that right. 1D one, one da, 2D da, 3D da. Now you're on the right side. 1D da, 2D da, 3D da. One. Now I wanted to go 1. <laughs> I want to accent that 1, but you can't. 1D da, 2D da, 3D da, 1D da, 2D, 2, get this right, 1D da, 2D da, 3D da, 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 3D That's pretty cool. So you we can learn some things from from people, right? Gleaning. Mmm, good wheat. Don't eat the you know, don't don't eat the hay. So there wasn't a lot of hay in here. I think that last one was really good, really good food. So if you ask, seek and knock, continue to ask, continue to seek, continue to knock, it will be given to you. You shall find it through discovery and you will have the door open. That's what it says in many places in the New Testament. And who said that? Right. Who said that? I'll look it up. You'll find out. So I'm going to ask, what can we do this? What can we use this for? Oh, I just had an answer. So ask and you get the answer. So, you know, I think you should learn how to do what's called a check pattern. Coasting. I'm just coasting. 
1D.2D.3D.4D.1D.2D.3D.4D.1D.2D.3D.4D.1D.2D.3D.4D.1D.2D.3D.4D.1D.2D.3D.4D.1D.2D.3D.4D.1D.2D.3D.4D.1D.2
why just move one accent forward? You go one E, uh, two E, right? One E, uh, three E, uh, three E, uh, four E, uh. Those are two accents. Now move them forward to one E, uh, two E, uh, three E, uh, four E, uh. You can hit crashes, tom toms. This is really good. And remember, walk on the numbers. So he's saying, yeah, let's do it four of each. What about doing two each? One, E, uh, two, E, uh, and then move it four. So he goes, one, E, uh, two, E, uh, one, E, uh, two, E, uh, and then finally one and ah, uh, because it's really three and one, right? One, so it's one, E, uh, two, E, uh, and move it four. One E uh, two E uh, move it forward. One E uh, two E uh. The first and third, and the first and third. So it's one and two, two and three, three and one. And that's and then it says, wow, do onesies. Huh. One E uh, two E uh, onesies. One. Uh, two? Yeah, one sees a two. One E, uh, and then two E, uh, and then three E, uh. <laughs> one of each. One E, uh, one E, uh, two E, uh. Let's get that part, since by the end. One E, uh, two E, uh, and then three E, uh. One E, uh, two E, uh, three E, uh. Then you gotta start on the other side. One E, uh, two E, uh, three E, uh. So take it slow, cinch by the inch, think about everything you're doing. Don't create any extraneous memories. That takes time to erase those memories. Think about each step. Then we can gradually turn the water on more. So it's one E, uh, then two E, uh, and then three E, uh. Then one and then we're done with this. So one, yeah, three E, uh. Then we gotta start with the left. One E, uh. Is that right? One E, uh. Two, two E, uh. Get that right? One E, uh. Two E, uh. One E, uh. Two E, uh. All right, let's figure this out. One E, uh. One E, uh. Two E, uh. One E, uh. Two E A, one E A, two E A, one E A, one E, one E A, one E A, one E A. Great memory. One E A, one E A, one E A, and then two E A, one E A. Remember, it's alternating. One E A, two E A, one E A, two E A, one E A, two E A. 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 And then what's left? Three E A. Three E A. First and third positions. Three E A. So it's one E A, two E A, three E A, one E A, two E A, three E A, one E A, two E A, three E A, one E A, two E A, three E A. So cinch by the inch, create little memories, doing it over and over and over. Add the next piece, a little memory. Now you have a bigger memory, over and over and over. 10, 20 times. I shortened it for you. And then finally, put it all together. And so you built the yard inch by inch, 36 inches in the yard. And that's what he did on all of that. Isn't that amazing? That's what he did. And we gleaned from that. And we learned how to go beyond that. We did threes instead of just twos, and twos of something and fours of something. And so that's pretty cool, isn't it? So that was page 20.
And now, we'll go on to the next video.